Today we are going to model this part step by step and at the end we will challenge ourselves with four questions. What's the area of the yellow surface? What's the area of the orange surface? The area of the green surface? And the total volume of this model. So open the fusion and let's go. The first step to create this part we will select the front plane and make this sketch. And here will be the midpoint. And the first thing that we'll create, we'll create two circles. One circle with 35 millimeters of diameter and another one with 20 millimeters of diameter in the center here. Okay, so open the fusion. Go to create a sketch and select the front plane. Select the circle, click here in the midpoint, make a circle here with 35 millimeters of diameter and another circle with 20 millimeters of diameter. Press OK. We made this. Now let's create these two circles here. One with 12 millimeters of diameter and the other with 25 millimeters of diameter. And the distance between these two points here is eight millimeters of distance. And we have this line here that is tangent with the both circles. And this point here is vertical with this point, okay? And the same in this side. So let's create this. Select a circle. Make a circle here with 25 millimeters of diameter and another circle with 12 millimeters of diameter. Okay. Now select a line. Make a line here at this point. And make this line tangent with this circle, okay? and tangent with this circle here and go to constraint select horizontal vertical select this point and this point here this point and this point here okay now go to sketch dimension this line has eight millimeters of length we made this okay now let's create these two circles here one circle with 8 millimeters of diameter and the other circle with 20 millimeters of diameter. And the distance between this point here and the midpoint is letter B, 50 millimeters. And the distance between the center of the circle and this point here is 65 millimeters. Okay, so let's create this. Select a circle, make a circle here with 8 millimeters and another circle with 20 millimeters of diameter and go to sketch dimension the distance here is 50 millimeters and the distance between this point and this point here is 65 millimeters okay we made this now let's create this arc here and this one this arc has 23 millimeters of radius and this one 70 millimeters of radius, okay? So let's create this. Go to create, select the arc, three point arc, make an arc here and make another arc here. Go to constraint, select the tangent, make this arc tangent with the both arcs, with the both circles, sorry. Let me move this a little bit here. Okay, go to tangent. And here this arc is tangent with the both circles. Go to sketch dimension. The radius here, 70 millimeters. And the radius here, 23 millimeters. Okay, we made this. Now here in this side, we have an arc with 35 millimeters. Of radius and another arc here with 130 millimeters of radius and here we have a distance the tangent point of this arc here this one with 35 millimeters and this line here is 13 millimeters okay so go to create select the arc three point arc click at this point make an arc here and make another arc here okay Go to constraint, select the tangent, make this arc tangent. And go to sketch dimension. The radius here, 35 millimeters of radius. And the radius here, 
130 millimeters of radius. And now click with the right button. Sorry, select the sketch dimension. Click with the right button. Select the peak circle arc tangent. Select this arc here and this line here. The distance here, 13 millimeters. Okay, we made this. We have this profile. We have this profile, okay. Now finish the sketch. We need to extrude this. And we'll extrude this letter D, 40 millimeters, okay. So go to extrude, select this profile. Don't select the holes here, okay. The direction, select the symmetric measurement, hole length, and the distance 40 millimeters. And press OK. We made this. Okay. Now we will select the front face, the yellow face here, and we'll create this sketch here to make a cut. Okay. The distance between this arc and this one is letter T, three millimeters. So we'll make an offset of this profile with three millimeters in the both sides here. And we needed to make a cut with three millimeters, okay? So go to create a sketch and select this face. Now go to create, select the project, include the project, the geometry. Select the, this face here and press okay. I will hide this body a little bit. We have this. Now go to modify, select the offset, select the outside edge here, and the distance minus three millimeters. And press OK. We have this. Now select the circle, click at this point and in this point here. Make a circle here, make a circle here, and another circle here. Okay. We have this profile and this one. Okay, so finish the sketch, show the body one, go to extrude, select this profile and this one, and the extrusion here is minus three millimeters, operation cut, make sure that the cut is to this direction, and press OK. We made this. Now to make the same in the other side, go to create and select the mirror, the object. The object type, select the features, and the object, select this cut. And the mirror plane, select the front plane, and press OK. We made this. OK. Now press letter A in the keyboard, and select this face here. We we'll paint this yellow. OK. We made this. Now we'll make this cut here, okay, and in the bottom too. So to create this, we'll select the front plane and make this sketch. The letter T is three millimeters and the radius here is six to one millimeters, okay? And the first step that we'll make, we'll take some reference. So go to create, select the, the front plane, show the sketch one and hide this body. Go to create, select the project included, project, the selection filter, select this circle here, this one, this one, and select this arc and press OK. Hide the sketch one, we made this, OK. And the first thing that we make, we create an arc here from the midpoint and create this arc here, OK, with 130 millimeters of radius. And the both is tangent with each other, OK. And at this point here, we have an arc concentric with this one. So let's create this. Go to create arc, three point arc. Click here in the midpoint, make an arc here. Okay. Click at this point, make an arc here. Okay. And go to constraints, select the tangent, make this two arc tangent. And select concentric, select this arc and this one. Okay. Now go to create and select the arc, center point arc. Click at this point and this point here, make an arc here. 
make sure that this arc is concentric with this one okay make sure and go to constraint select horizontal vertical select this point and this point here okay let me hide this project geometry here we have this okay now we know that the thickness here is three millimeters so let's create this and the bottom arc here has 45 millimeters of radius okay so go to modify offset select this arc this one and this one the offset here minus three millimeters press ok and go to sketch dimension the radius here is 45 millimeters press ok we made this now we'll close the side here so go to create select arc three point arc make an arc here and go to constraint select tangent make this arc tangent here and tangent here okay we made this profile okay show the project geometry here we made this now we'll make the other side here so the first thing that we create you create an arc here this arc is from the midpoint okay and we will create another arc here using the offset with three millimeters of distance and this arc here is tangent with this one okay so go to create select the arc three point arc click at the midpoint here make an arc here okay and go to create sorry go to modify select the offset now go to modify select the offset select this arc three millimeters here press ok and go to constraint select coincident select this point and this arc here this circle select this point and this point here okay and go to constraint select tangent select this arc and this circle and go to sketch dimension the radius here is 61 millimeters of radius okay and here go to create select arc center point arc click in this point and this point here make an arc here okay and go to arc again three point arc click at this point make an arc here okay go to constraint select tangent make this arc tangent with this one and go to constraints horizontal vertical select this point here and this point okay and go to modify offset select this arc here minus three millimeters okay and make this to arc tangent and coincident this two point okay and make this two point coincident and tangent here okay we made this now show the body one and go to create select the project included project the selection filter select the bodies select all this body here and press ok I will hide this a little bit finish the sketch and go to extrude select all this profile sorry select this profile okay and show the body one we needed to make a cut here so direction select symmetric measurement holy length and the cut we needed to cut this the distance here 20 millimeters okay so the distance 20 millimeters operation cut press okay we made this okay now press letter a in the keyboard select this face add some color here orange okay and select the bottom face here this face and add color here green okay 
now we needed to add this chamfer here in the hole okay in the both sides with two millimeters so go to modify select the chamfer select this edge here and this edge here two millimeters press ok so now let's answer the the questions okay the four questions here i have the answers here okay so let the to show the area of the green surface okay so show to inspect select the measure and select the green surface here the area 903.25 okay 903.25 that's correct so now the area of the yellow surface 1913.91 so let's see here the orange no sorry it is a yellow surface okay it's correct and the orange surface it's correct and the volume of the model okay so to see the volume click with the right button here and select the properties let me show this sorry the volume is the same here so here we finish our exercise so thanks for watching subscribe my channel for more and see you in the next videos okay bye bye